Hello, 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 y'all. It's Nader Gator. It's been a while since my last video on the Bat Sim Network. Now, uh, just getting back into flying again. It's been a while since I've flown on here, too. Um, as you can see, we are at. That's not a good angle. Um, as you can see, we're at Honolulu Airport right now. And FS Stream Team Honolulu with the TFDI 717. And if you remember my last video when I tried to review this thing, that didn't go so well. <laughs> so. Um, there's a lot of issues with that video, uh, namely, I didn't talk as much about it as I wanted to. Um, the frame rates, for whatever reason, were just absolutely awful, and to be fair, they're still awful. I mean, if I can pull it up, yeah, five, I've, it's been around seven, seven to ten frames per second, um, which I'm not sure why that's happening now. I was doing some tests with it, and it was doing so well ever since I got... Uh, a few programs and fixed up my computer a little bit um, but hopefully that'll get better I think it's just because we're using major scenery with uh, frame intensive aircraft on the Batsim network and we have other people here um, hopefully that's it uh, but I cannot tell you how much I love this airport and how much I love this rendition of the airport and that's part of the reason why I was so excited to get the TFDI 717 is because um, I, I could go fly it around the Hawaiian Islands which is probably one of my favorite places to go and fly uh, why is it saying my IRS is in the line? Oh, these things are stupid. Um, so anyways, I have my FMS pulled up. I have ridiculously outdated nav data. Um, but, oh well. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead. I still don't know a whole lot about this aircraft and how to really fly it by the books. But I know enough to get it in the air, hopefully. So we'll go ahead and enter everything, and then we'll get flying. And I just put a K. Should have put a P. P H N L slash P H K O because we're going to Kona. Uh, I already did. Wait, so if I remember correctly, you have to. Do I have to redo this or do I have to click that to align or? Oh, and frickin' there's that's the button I was looking for. Maybe. Well, we'll figure it out if it's not. Um, flight number we're Hawaiian three eighteen. No ATC on right now, uh, which is unfortunate. But uh, for the next video I do in this aircraft, we'll try to get some ATC on. We'll try to get there. Um, uh, cruise levels are gonna go at 170, and that's it, <laughs> that's all we're going to. Um, uh, flight plan, p and HNL, we're gonna fly, actually I didn't look this up yet, one moment. We're gonna fly probably, probably the Molokai 4, maybe it's 5 now. And then I guess, uh, and we're gonna find out. Uh, no, that's not. Oh, oh yeah, they just renamed it. Shit, I was like, this isn't Honolulu International, but it's uh, they just renamed it as like Daniel K and Noe Field or something like that. Um, so that's why I was confused. Kona International at Kihole. Um, our flight number's wrong, but oh well. Um, well. <laughs> 338 technically scheduled in three minutes that's the flight we're sort of mirroring here um oh play two okay play two lanai and the becky eight um so let's go ahead and click on honolulu if i remember how to do this correctly sid play two uh for lanai off of runway <sighs> shit what would they be using right now um if it's anything like any typical day at Honolulu, it's probably going to be 8 left for departure, but let's see. Wincom, yeah, we're going to take 8 left, so let's go ahead and put that in there. I like I'd have the water runways in here too. Um, insert, so vectors, and then play, Rosh, Lanai. Um, and then off of Lanai, we're actually going to go right down to here, because we're flying a Vecchi 8 star off Lanai. Uh, for 
runway we don't know yet. Uh, so Lanai, Zoma, Tammy, and then Tammy puts us on the ILS, I believe. I don't know, Vecchi puts us on the ILS. I don't remember. Anyways, let's go ahead and now that we have our flight plan there, um, I'll set up that here real quickly. Gonna go ahead and set up our altitudes. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Oh, just passed it. There we go. Uh, speed 210 for now. Still haven't fully figured out this damn autopilot, but. Oh, there goes the guy. Actually, it might be my automatic. I might have forgotten to take AI aircraft off. That can get kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think everything else is set up. We'll put this on runway heading. Actually, I'll put a little bit off runway heading because taking off eight left, they usually put you on a heading of like one two zero or something like that to avoid skyscrapers. And Nausea residents, R.I.P. Santa Monica. Anyways, um, door open, emergency power on, emergency lights. Sorry. Oh, Psst. emergency lights. Um. Arm those. Uh, air system. The hell button is that? I don't know what button that is. Is that this button? What does that do? Uh, it doesn't do anything. Might as well leave it off then. Not mess with it. Um, let's go ahead and. At least turn our bleeds on because that should be on auto. Um, Avionics cooling, we'll leave on fan. Rammer is going to be off. Ah. I don't know what happened to my voice. Uh, where was I at? Oh. So wait, I want to make sure it loaded the everything correctly because I loaded it from the add-on manager um, and it should be should show us okay so we did that already um, if we go page the weight I need to make sure that's correct actually first so let's uh, let's see it's a ghetto way to do it but yeah everything's in there for once yay we can go ahead and get rid of that menu bar. Uh, let's take off. Uh, ground weight was 103.6 or something like that. Uh, take off CG. Is this so CG from here? I don't remember. No, this is so CG. Okay, to the add-on manager. Um, CG, 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 CG. Sinji. Why right, does it not tell me CG? I thought it did. Uh, well, our CG is something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just leave it like that. It's not a big deal for me right now. I'll figure out how to do that at some point. Um, take off approach. Uh, we'll do flaps, uh, where the frickin' flap settings on this aircraft again? Oh, shoot. Um, oh, that's over, oh. Uh, we'll do flaps 13. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, crap. Okay, one moment. There we go. Okay, flaps 13. Yeah, V1, frickin' 125. Sure. VR 130. I'm completely pulling these numbers out of my ass, by the way. Um, I'm going to, not right now, but in future videos, I'm going to learn how to actually do this by the numbers, and hopefully that will get you guys a better video. This is basically just to uh, 
put the aircraft through its paces again and do a fun little flight on the Vetsim network for your enjoyment. Laughing at my stupidity, probably. Um, let's see. So now that that's put in there, we'll go back to flight plan. Put that down. Turn the APU on. Documentation on this aircraft was light initially, so I didn't really bother. I haven't gone through and read a whole lot of it yet. Uh, did that turn it on? or I don't think that turned it on. Let's try again. I think you gotta hold it. Uh, or am I missing something? missing this happens way too often uh, I have to turn my packs on to I can't tell if it's starting or not this annoys me. This annoys me greatly. Um, and also, I think my hydraulics are off. <laughs> Should probably just take a look at the general override panel, but. Gosh, what am I missing? Okay, overhead. Like I said, guys, it's been like two months since I've flown this thing. It's actually been since the review that I've flown this thing. I just haven't had time to really go and look at the documentation and learn how to fly it correctly. Um, that's for ice protection. Um, I'll just turn these generators on for good measure, even though they're not necessary to the, the thing. Maybe you do have to turn that on. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know why. <laughs> my, f oh my gosh. Noob status right here. My fuel pumps aren't on. It's a big, uh, it's a big frick you right there. There we go. Gosh, that's embarrassing. Um, I'm sure it's not the last embarrassing thing I'm gonna do here, but. All right, let's go back to virtual cockpit here. And get ready to push back. I don't think there's any ATC still, so... Oh, I don't need the center pumps, that's right. I didn't load with, uh, with center fuel. Okay, now my APU's on. I can disconnect. Um... Or no, I can disconnect through the tablet, which is honestly one of my coolest, coolest things about this aircraft, is the tablet. But it's nice and simple. Like I said, not anything that hasn't been done before, but I like it. Um, cones and wheel chocks can be done. I'll close that door. And check real quick to make sure there's no ATC on. There's not. Um, so we're going to go ahead and call for pushback. Which, if I remember correctly, is actually controlled through here as well. Possibly. Oh, that's for... Okay, wait, that's documents. Maybe it's not controlled through. That's, oh, there's my center of gravity. Well, again, idiot status. Um, thought, I thought there was a pushback thing for this, but I guess there's not, so let's just do the automatic. Um, 
go ahead and first of all check out my breaks because it's saying I'm on differential breaks even though I'm not. There we go. Um, and then, gosh, it's been so long since I played FSX that I remember Shift P1 is what I want to do here. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and packs are on. Everything's good. Ignition's gonna go to on. Start pump. And then there's something quirky to starting this aircraft the last time that I can't remember what it was. Um, so I hope that doesn't frustrate me this time. Moment when you probably need to go back to your old videos and look at what you did wrong the first time. <laughs> Anyways, engine number two is kicking up. We are now pushed back. That's fine. Set the parking brake. I really need to figure out, like, once and for all, frame rate solution. Because that's pathetic. <laughs> Alright. Engine number two is kicking up. Um, and then for engine number one, there was something specific that I don't remember what it was. Let's just go ahead and try to run engine number one here and see what happens. Oh, there's a, um, I think I remember what it was. There's like a, a fuel something. <laughs> there's a fuel something. Um, freaking, there's a switch on the overhead that you have to press, and it's super annoying. It's like, um, where, <laughs> I never even noticed I was there. Um. It is, where the hell is that switch? Gosh, okay, well this might take a while. <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't wanna blow out the starter, but I'm thinking it was probably, <laughs> we're just going to try random stuff and see what happens. Um, it was high flow. No, it wasn't high flow. Maybe I had to turn the start pump off. Okay, no, it wasn't that either. Start pump's got to be on, apparently. Um, gosh. Oh, freaking ISO valve. I remember what it was. Okay, so that's this is all relevant then. Uh, so ISO valve should go now. There we go. Right. Always gotta remember the ISO valve, kids. Life lesson. Okay, let's go ahead and put some fuel in there. Bless me. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, turn the weather radar on. It doesn't really do anything because I don't have an add-on weather program yet. I don't make enough money via the YouTube to do that, to afford those programs. But 
I don't make any money by the YouTube actually for those programs. <laughs> uh, oh, right, stabilizer trim. Um, that was, that might actually be through the FMS now that I think about it. I cannot remember. Um, anyway, so now that our, now that everything's set up, start tarp, start pump off, ignition to auto, um, turn our APU off, and our isolation valve back to close. And then stabilizer was uh, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one. Was it this one? You just click it. Oh no! <laughs> I want it on. Um. Well, how do you do this then? <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember. It's kind of annoying, but oh, I think it's these things actually. Is it these things? Did that do anything? Hey, it did stuff. Whew. I like it when things do stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and set that. Oh, that's way far forward. Whoops. Let's go ahead and set that back. <laughs> we're going to take off and we're going to nose plunge right into the city. Um, let's see. And timestamps will be provided in the description because I know this is taking an astronomically long time to get set up and out to the runway, but. Uh, well, it's not. Okay. That should be. That should be good. It's not. I don't think I set my weight up right, but. Yeah, I didn't set my weight up right. Um, oh, because I didn't put in my CG. I'm an idiot. Always put in your CG, kids. Um, take off CG. There we go. Okay, I'm on the higher end, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead. Parking brakes now off. Gotta say we're taxing up to eight left. And away we go. And I believe if everything went right with the add-on manager, I believe I actually am using the updated version now. So. Um, corrected a lot of issues they released this whole major update getting the aircraft where they wanted to be in December um, one of the issues actually that and it looks like it's actually doing a little bit better with that um, one of the issues I had was the throttle sensitivity on the ground like how you had to always be adjusting it to taxi right um, it looks like that's gotten a little bit better not quite where I wanted it to be but maybe that's part of the aircraft too I don't know uh, but they fixed a lot of major issues with the autopilot, with certain bugs, with the FMS. Uh, I think they added a hold mode in the update, which was much needed. So now you don't have to do ghetto holds like I did in my first video. Um, so let's see. So eight left. So we're going to go out here. Doesn't look like it's been completely fixed though. So the strategy I use taxiing this aircraft is to just, uh, just because the way it's made, set the throttle to something, and then you kind of got to ride the brakes, which is unfortunate. But either way, we'll be in the air soon, and it won't be an issue. In the air, this thing flies really, really well. Um, really easy to handle. Really easy to just set down and land, and it just it feels nice. It feels like an aircraft and that's something that I think is true with all Boeing products and uh, definitely with this one. I like the layout of the cockpit as well. Um, it's glass but it's not like in your face glass. Like it's nice to just go through, you can go through the different screens and look at whatever you need to look at. Autopilot panels are right, I'm still getting used to it but uh, more and more I'm actually liking this autopilot panel more than some other ones. Um, and I really like the job they did in the overhead panel. It's probably one of my favorite parts about what they did with this aircraft. Um, all the switches, easy to use, easy to click. Uh, all but one of them are clickable. Um, and, you know, everything has a sound associated with it, and everything looks nice and is textured fine up there. So it's really, they really did a good job. They really did a good job with the, the VC in general. 
Um, probably the best thing about this aircraft is the VC, um, and just how it looks and how it feels and how it operates. Um, and I think once they f go and fully fix those bugs, and I'm not sure if I have the update or not, um, but if the update went and fully fixed those bugs, I think the VC is, you know, right up there with some of the top VCs of, uh, of flights and aircraft. Um, I think we take a right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we take a right here. So let's go ahead and take a right here. There's nobody to our left. There's nobody to our right, except for a guy landing. Happy Saturday, guys. How are you all doing today? Love to know in the comments uh, how everyone's doing with their lives and how everyone's enjoying their summer. And it's finally summer. I mean, I know I got done with classes like a little over a month ago. Um, but between working and just everything else going on, I just haven't had time to do a whole lot of fun stuff. Um, although I've been trying. I'm actually going to be out to a wedding in New Mexico next weekend, so I'm not going to be able to post then. And then I'm going to be in Reno the next weekend, so I'm not going to be able to post then. So this might actually be the last video for a while, but I'll try to post sometime in between now and when I go to New Mexico. Um, because other than that, I'm not really going to have time. So let's see. Did I already mention how much I love the scenery? Because I love the scenery. It's really frame intensive, but you, you know, you get what you... Uh, you get what you get. It's it's really, really well done, and I really enjoy flying out of here. And the 717 just adds that, because now there's finally realism in inner island flying. Um, because island there decided not to use Dash 8s anymore. I know it's a travesty. They went with ATRs, I think. And I think Empire is ATRs also, which ATR, I do not like the ATR. I might go more into that later, but Dash 8 greater than ATR all day every day no contests ATR sucks hashtag ATR sucks guys make it trending if anybody actually watches this video um, it's not this left I don't think yeah it's not yeah it's not this left but the next one I'll have to bust out the triple seven again um, one of these times. Obviously, I won't be able to do an entire flight with that because I like to do realistic flights and that thing, and those take like. Actually, it might be this one. Yeah, it is this one. Well, there you go. Um, I like to do realistic flights and that thing, and realistic flights for a 777 are usually 8 or 9 hours. Nobody wants to watch an 8 or 9 hour YouTube video. Hardly anybody even wants to watch this 1 hour YouTube video. <laughs> um, but I'll make cuts, I'll show takeoff, I'll show landing, I'll show various moments that happen throughout the flight. We'll make it work. I'll get the, I'll give that a, jeez, uh, I can't talk today. I'll get a better editing program that'll uh, help me do all that. I think that actually cut it short here, but that's fine. We got 12,000 feet of runway to work with. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put on our lights. gonna get lined up here first and then put on the rest of our lights because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna go right off the runway um, yeah, get lined up here I love the runway textures that pay where airports have like FSX textures for runways are fine but they're nowhere near the quality that you get from these it feels like you're actually on a runway uh, go ahead and turn those on <laughs> do it Oh, by the way, guys, we're taking off. Um, oh, I got to set our flaps, too. Hashtag never forget. Got to set the flaps. Okay, flaps are set. Actually, slats are set. Um, flaps 13. Thank you. I think. Let's look at that real quick. Uh... Uh, 13. There we go. 13. Whew. Forget how many clicks you have to do. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a takeoff roll.
Rocher. Pause the break, gear up. Four hundred. I turn to one four zero. There we go over um can't remember the name of that island at the, off the top of my head, but it's it's fun to go and camp there. It's a good plane spotting location. Um, either way, though. We can really climb in this thing today. Not a lot of fuel, a lot, not a lot of passengers. Go actually to one two zero, and I don't. Uh, let's see. That's what I meant to do. My, I'm not doing pause the bar. There we go. Stabilizer motion. There, stabilizer motion. Anyways. Let's go back up there. There we go. Okay. Starting to get a little bit better at this thing. Either way, though. I think I do have the update, because last time the, uh, the, um, auto throttle was just awful. Um, but now it looks like it's working a little bit better. Let's go up to 250. So if this thing you set your... Uh, why is it not... Is that the best I can do in a climb? Jeez. Okay. Let's scroll down. Is that the best M1 I can do in a climb? Really? Come on. <laughs> Uh, they're gonna put up the last of our slats there. Uh, it's actually gonna be enough to send me into protection for us, but we're almost at 17,000 already. That's ridiculous. We really rocketed out of there. Uh, we're above 10,000 though, so let's go ahead and turn our lights off. Strobes off. Let's go to nav one here. I no, 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 wait a minute. What are we doing? Okay, wait. Everyone, just hold on to your horses. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> I think it's because I didn't. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's go direct to play. Or no, not play. Let's go direct to Rush. And then now hit nav and it should go Altitude. There we go. Altitude. Okay, gears up, flaps are up, 
easily. Gauges look fine. We're on our course. We're almost at our altitude. Lights are off. Passenger signs are good. Come on. Frickin' uh, Zach can go off. Oh, and we want to, uh, we want to go higher. <laughs> there we go. Nice fast climb. Clouds around us, or there are clouds around us, I should say. Doing a little bit better in frames, it seems like. We were. Now we're not. Eh, whatever. Three eighty nine to ground speed, it's not bad. Nothing like a Saturday morning playing flight sim and eating Oreos. You got mail. Um, P Hog, inbound ILS runway 2. Don't care about him. Oh, I can probably turn my fastest seatbelt sign off now. <laughs> Just like, uh, when can we go to the bathroom yet? There we go. No snow looking sign always stays on though because this isn't the 80s anymore, unfortunately. I like the music. I'm in it for the music. Killers just ain't the same as actual 80s bands. Don't tell them I said that though, I love the killers. <laughs>
bet you guys wish you were eating Oreos. Almost at Lanai here. Maybe for one of these videos, I'll take a 717 and try to put it down at one of these smaller airports. Lanai and Molokai over there, and some of the smaller airports over on Maui, which is that island right here. Um, they they fly like ATRs and dashes and turboprops in there, but they don't fly any jets in there. Um, so I'm thinking for one of these videos, I'm going to do like... Uh, Hawaiian Airlines uh, jet flight into one of those airports and see how that goes. Let me know what you guys think of that idea if you're watching this part of the video. Um, it's just something that I've kind of flirted with. I think it'd be cool to, to see. I have to get better scenery for those airports so I don't have anything. Still just so much fun flying in the Hawaiian Islands. Oh, and then right in front of us right here is Koholawe, which is probably the most insignificant Hawaiian island out of the bunch. There's nothing. <laughs> that's that's a nice way to say it. There's nothing. It was a uh, it was a testing ground during World War II, and it's not really inhabitable anymore. But then there's Maui, which is very much inhabitable and inhabited. And way in the distance there is the big island. I guess if you guys are watching this part of the video, there's no shame in doing some shameless advertising for companies that I have no affiliation with whatsoever. Um, so, of course, the scenery for Honolulu I have from FS Dream Team, this aircraft's from TFDI. They're both great companies. Check out their products, buy their products. It is, uh, I have my own opinions about spending $30 for an airport, for a singular airport. Um, but for, for, for what it's worth, these guys do a great job. So sometimes I will splurge, especially if it's an airport that I know I'm going to fly, be flying out of a lot. Um, otherwise, like for Kona, for example, I just use freeway scenery. Um, and if you're just looking for freeway scenery, one of the best out there is Sunsky Jet. They only have Philadelphia release right now. They're working on Detroit. They've been working on Detroit for forever. It's getting kind of frustrating at this point. Um, but I'm sure once they release Detroit, it'll be the talk of the town on the freeway market because their scenery is just as good as anything um, payware released, and it's for free. So, you know, who doesn't like that? Um, let's see. Who else can I shamelessly promote? Uh Oh, the airport guys. Uh so if you're looking for if you're looking for high quality scenery payware scenery for cheap, look no further than the airport guys, especially for general aviation airports. If you're one of those guys that likes to take um, you know, whether it be a, a corporate King Air or just an old tailwheel piper um up into the skies, then you might want to check out these guys because they uh especially on the eastern board they have a lot of general aviation airports released they're all very high quality they pay attention to detail um it's all pretty cheap um especially when they do sales for certain things and stuff like you could go and probably go get it in airport for five or ten dollars which is a steal um for what their 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 uh products are um, and I think they've also released one commercial airport. They released Myrtle Beach. I don't know if they... I know they were working on Baltimore a while back, and they quit that project. Uh, but I'm not sure if they released any other commercial airports. Uh, but Myrtle Beach is definitely something you might want to check out, too. I think it's. I think that one's like 20 because it's a commercial airport. It's a bigger airport. Uh, but it's very, very well done. The airports, everything is paid attention to detail. They included the whole carnival atmosphere in the background. Like, you see a Ferris wheel and all that. It's pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, that... We'll probably do it for today's shameless promotions. Uh, we're almost at Zilna. We gotta be, I think it's like five thousand at Tammy. So let's get st <laughs> let's get started down. I got a little sidetracked. Uh, yeah, let's go down to five. Uh, 
Uh, let's put it at 240. If I put it at 250, it's going to be over. <laughs> yep, go down. There we go. Come on. Gosh, this thing just wants to keep going fast. Uh, Piag short final two, don't care. Uh, what are they doing at, um, what are they doing at Kona right now? They are 1305. Okay, so they're going to be using 17, so I'm good there. Uh, just looking at the Vatastic here. <laughs> so I didn't actually submit a flight plan. I'm kind of an idiot, but uh, we also got a guy coming from Hilo to Honolulu. Hawaiian in an MD-80 for some reason. Uh, let's see. It kind of disappointed there's no ATC on. I'd like to see the Hawaiians airline or the Hawaiian Islands staffed up more often. Um, one of these times when I get the chance, I'll do an event where I get to fly this thing in with some AC ATC because I think it'll make for a better video. Until then, I don't make use of the spoilers here, um, cause. Hey, why is it not letting me? Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use a shortcut. There we go. In air spoilers. Almost at Tammy here, which I think is our first fix on the, the ILS. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside, though, so I think we're just going to fly to visual for 1-7, and that's going to be our plan of action here. I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know if I did this already, but seatbelt sign on. We're going to turn our lights on as well now. Everything looks good. Gauges are good. I'll pilot set up. Frequencies are fine. I really should think about investing in like one of those more realistic um, desktop hardware setups for this thing. Since I mostly fly commercial jets, it'd be nice to have throttles that actually look like this instead of just a singular throttle that I get with my CH product. But a man can dream. We're still 20 from Tammy, so I think we're going to be all right. Oh, hey, Denver Center's online. That's what I should have done. It's like Denver to Salt Lake or something like that. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Starting to get a little busy on the Vatsim network. Just a little bit. What are we on the runtime for this video? 50 minutes? Yeah, about 50 minutes. Alright. That's not bad. Um, once I actually get the hang of doing this thing, 
it'll be easier on a startup. It'll be quicker on a startup. But if I, as long as I can keep it under, you know, an hour and ten minutes or so, or right around an hour, that's fine. And I'll put timestamps in, like I said before, too. So if you don't want to listen to this boring ass part, then you don't have to listen to this boring ass part. I think Milvis is actually making an ATR 72 though. So before I talk too much trash about the ATR, because I'm probably going to go get the ATR from Milvis, but because uh, I like their other products, I like their props, I like their civilian aircraft. I haven't really tried their military aircraft other than helicopters, which are still good. But the thing about Milvis is that sometimes I feel like they're a little overpriced for what they are, which is basically a quality wings level simulation, but they charge a little bit more. They do have a little bit more to them, but I don't know. The thing is, Milvis often does aircraft that others other people don't do, like the 737-200 and... I know Captain Sim did it, but there's this buggy, and I, I hated it. But um, the 737-200 Cessna 310, uh, the bold Beach 55. Um, now they're doing the ATR, and they're doing, I think they just released the, the Havilland Beaver or something like that, and an Otter, which both of which I'm excited to pick up because I got to start doing some seaplane flying. That's one of the ratings I want to get eventually is a seaplane rating. Uh, so, okay, so we're at 5,000. We're going to slow it down here a little bit. To, uh, let's go to 210 since we're just about to turn nope not that far the scrolling is also a little sketchy on this thing but it's fine um, now we're gonna go down to 3000 Stabilizer motion. Stabilizer motion. Anyways. Alright, let's get set up with our before landing checklist. Go flaps to one. Or, I guess, slats in this case. Uh, traffic departing, PHQ, runway 17. Okay. They're on final. We don't need to worry about them. Got the runway in sight. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the rudders here. Going down to 3,000, and afterwards, I think I'm just gonna take the autopilot off from there. Let's trim the speed down to 190. Let's just make it 180. Flaps in. Three from Becky, we're at three thousand now. 
let's go ahead and all right, my frames are looking good, so let's go ahead and take off the autopilot. Autopilot. Turn a little bit more on course here. I still don't. Wait a minute. Do I have control over my throttle levels? No, I don't. Uh. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm a little low. Let's see. There we go. I don't, why does this, why does Kona have two runways? Does Kona have two runways now? I wasn't warned of this. Gosh, anyways. Let's go ahead and put our flaps, another notch of flaps in. Go ahead and put our landing gear in. Like I said, this thing's really nice to hand fly. We're gonna go ahead and pick the runway on the left. I'm not sure why there's two runways. I don't remember there being two runways. The scenery's whack, dog. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put another notch of flaps in. now which can chin that out there we go put in our final notch of flaps yeah that's final notch of flaps Approach check, flaps are set, landing gear is down, runways in sight, gauges are checked, so I'm fine. We don't need clearance line because there's no ATC, hashtag rebel life. No traffic in front of us. 1,000. 1,000, check. Four hundred. Check. Three hundred. Check. Minimum. Land. One hundred. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Butter.
Alright, successful ending at Kona. We're gonna go ahead and take the high speed off to our left here. Flaps up. Uh, put our sweep right back down. And there you have it. Welcome to Kona, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and park over there at that uh, outdoor terminal. And that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give a like. I've got timestamps there if you just want to look for takeoff, landing. I know how that goes. You probably don't want to look through a whole hour video just for this flight. Uh, if you like the video, though, like it. Uh, if you like the channel, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Y'all have a great day.